When you're thinking about a new cell phone, deciding whether you should trade in or sell your old cell phone is a big decision. It's important to think about the advantages and disadvantages of each option so you're able to decide which one works best for you. So let's look at the pros and cons together and decide if trading in your phone or selling it is the better option for you. So let's dive into our first option, selling your phone. Selling your phone instead of trading in your phone means more effort, but more money in your pocket. So here are some of the places that you can sell your phone. Let's take eBay as an example. eBay charges 12.9% plus 30 cents on your sale price. In the case of an iPhone 11 that has maximum capacity and is in good condition, eBay shows a trending price of $480, surpassing Apple's trading offer of just $300. On the other hand, the rest of the platforms are typically free and target a more local audience. However, the local focus restricts the number of potential buyers that you can attract. So let's break it down into the pros and cons. In the pro section, you can possibly earn more money than if you trade it in. As for the cons, finding a buyer can be pretty frustrating. Some could initially show interest but fail to show up for the meeting. It can also take some time to sell your phone. You may even be required to organize shipping. How does trading in your phone actually work? Here's a breakdown of the process. First, you get a trade-in estimate. The manufacturer or the wireless carrier will estimate the value of your current phone. Then you receive a prepaid return kit and also a shipping label. The carrier or manufacturer will offer you a prepaid return kit or a shipping label, enabling you to send back your phone with free shipping. Then the next step is to do an assessment of your old phone's condition. Once they receive your old phone, they will evaluate the phone's overall condition. Then they will give you a final trade-in value. The final trade-in value for your phone will be determined by the carrier or the manufacturer based on its overall condition, which may vary from its initial estimate. And for that last step, credit or compensation. The trade-in credit can be given to you in different ways depending on the company's policy. It can be refunded to your credit card, applied as credit to your new device, or you can receive it in a form of a gift voucher. So let's jump into the pros and cons of trading in your phone. So here are some of the pros. It is simple and convenient. You do not need to determine the pricing and where to sell your phone. And there is no logistic hassle. And here are some of the cons. Older phones may not be eligible for trading and the prices are not as high as what you'd get if you were to sell your phone. Based on all that information, how can you decide on whether you should trade in your phone or sell it? Well, this depends on various factors and idle options are not exactly superior. It's essential to think about your situation, budget, and personal preference for you to make the right decision for yourself. Hope you found this useful.